Hi friends, a very warm welcome to yet another tutorial of Easy Video Series. Here I am going to show you how to install Windows 8.1 in VirtualBox. Uh, friends, 8.1 is the newest version of Windows after Windows 8 that has arrived. So let's see how to install it in a VirtualBox so that you can use for testing purposes. Uh, before I begin, let me just tell you something. Uh, sometimes there are some issues in VirtualBox relating to Windows 8.1 installation. Okay, so first let's prepare the virtual machine and then we need to execute some commands. Okay, so in VirtualBox, click on New. In the description, we give Windows 8.1. Since we are using 64 bit, let us select Windows 8 64 bit. Click on Next. Uh, RAM may be given as let's say 15 bread that's fine S <coughs> create a new virtual hard disk next let me check which drive has enough space D should be enough so you can allocate this to any drive that has enough space 25 GB is not required normally around uh, I guess 18 or 16 GB is sufficient okay so the machine is created here so before starting the machine let me tell you there are two things to do <coughs> so these commands will be there in the video description also so first of all uh, locate your path of virtual box so come to the start menu right virtual. so there you get oracle vm virtual box right click on it come to properties and in the target window it is already selected or you can right click and select select all bits already selected then click copy okay and paste it in <coughs> any place of your choice okay so my location for virtual box is c program files oracle virtual box this is my folder path and this is the file name that executes in a similar fashion you have this so basically now you will need two commands since my installation is exactly at this place, C program files Oracle VirtualBox, I need not change my commands. Let's say if you are having your location as D program files Oracle VirtualBox, then you have to change the C colon to D colon. Okay. Basically, this will be your path. This path needs to be replaced here and here. Okay. So I am erasing this line. This is not neat. These two commands are to be run. Sometimes there are some issues while running 8.1 in the VirtualBox directly. So if you type these two commands, this will ensure that there will be no errors or mistakes. Okay, so again, come to start menu and in the search box type CMD, command prompt. Okay, CMD, <coughs> sorry, now click on CMD. Now, first you will need to list down your virtual boxes, which all are there. Copy. And right click on the terminal window and click on paste okay so here are my virtual machines xp newest xp this and if you see this verifies with this xp newest second one microsoft windows 7 windows 7 ubuntu ubuntu and 8.1 okay everything is in quotes and i also recommend you to type the next command in quotes the next command is like this is the executable and if you see this box this is the name of the virtual box that you have created so you have created with the name windows 8.1 see go in the name section and you will get the name windows 8.1 or you can get the name from here okay so naming and the codes are important so just execute this command directly if you want you can replace your name in this quotes you can get your name from here okay so let me just copy this command and click on paste okay I have entered it so this command is also successfully executed now I can happily start my Windows 8 okay so I right click on the virtual box and click start alternatively you can go and click start here both are the same thing okay so it's asking me for the startup disk I just select this and probably in my downloads I have Windows Professional 8.1 64-bit I click open you can double click also 
click start installation of windows 8 in virtualbox takes too much time uh, last time i installed it took me around 35 minutes but uh, what i've heard from my friends i am not a big fan of windows 8 uh, they said installation normally completes in 20 25 minutes okay so the first screen is the language on this let me time and currency is india and english india i press next install now So I would pause the video after the actual installation starts because uh, there is no other checkboxes that needs to be ticked. Okay, I accept. Click on next. Since you are doing it in virtual box, you can select either of them. I always prefer to do the custom advanced installation, the second option. And it's a virtual box. I have this unlocked allocated drive. You want you can create format and partitions also. So I am just selecting this and clicking on next. And there you go, copying Windows files. So this process will take time. I will pause my video. Okay, and after this completes the processing, before the next checkbox or any window appears, I will get back you. I will get back to you. Okay, so the video will be paused here and I will return back maybe in some time. So there you go, after installation it is just restarting, after 100% copying the files. Oh -ho. I have done something wrong, I guess. Uh, when the next time your Dropbox restarts, it will ask you for this press any key to boot from CD or DVD so you need not press any key okay let windows start by itself you need not press any key if you press then uh, everything will start from the start okay because all the files have already been copied so you need not press anything Taking time. Okay, so there you go. Getting devices ready. So checking the hardware. Uh -huh. Shooting to 80%. Installation of Windows throughout, I guess, uh, right from Windows 98 has been quite easy. From XP, it has been the easiest. 8.1 is even more easy. The only issue with 8.1 is like uh, by default if you just set up your 8.1 and start your virtual box directly it will issue some um, error messages or warnings 0 cross 0002e 0, 0, error this cannot be found that is not ready this medium is not bootable etc etc so as i told you you just need to type those two commands that i have given in the text file that would be there in the video description also Okay, it reboots again. Again, please don't press any key. If you press any key, it will start from the beginning. Okay, 
so let it continue on its own <coughs> as i told you this will take time i mean uh, i had experience of this running on virtualbox on my friend's system so this does take time so for windows 8 i would suggest you initially when you select your drives and partitions and all once you click next go out have a cup of coffee return after 20 25 minutes and everything would be ready okay uh apart from just uh, there is only a username that is remaining to enter and if you have a bing account or a microsoft account so let's see here it is in the name i will give easy video series Oh, I I'm missing. Easy video series. You can choose any color that you want. Let's say go green. Click on next. Uh, use express setting for power users. I would say you can click on customize and you can choose many of the choices. But for now, I'm using use express settings. Uh, it will check my internet connection. it's better to disconnect your internet once you are using in virtual box unless uh, you plan to use your windows it in virtual box itself so it's telling windows is having trouble connecting to internet so let's create a local account local account my username let's say king okay you can choose a password just giving a simplistic password how oh, you cannot have the hint as your password good so let's keep it 2 so that's it it's finalizing the setting after finalizing so everything will run fine uh, it will finalize it will start the app store app store setup takes time but there is nothing that has to be done now it will just take another 5 to 7 minutes we are setting things for you okay uh, i will just pause the video for a moment or else uh, you will get bored watching the video it's just some screens are coming and microsoft is praising itself okay so see you can get new apps from the app store and installing your apps this takes a lot and lot of time okay so there you go you get the windows 8 desktop and that's it So as you see, uh, in installing Windows 8 on a virtual box is too very simple. When I click on desktop, I get this. So click on my computer, uh, this Windows Explorer, to verify which version of Windows. Right click on the computer, click on properties, and here it is: 64-bit operating system, 64-bit processor. That is Windows 8.1 Professional. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time. Good.